so it's four in the morning and um, I'm just about to go and drive over to Stonehenge to fly over it in a hot air balloon that's tethered to the ground but obviously we'll still be up in the air um, so it should be pretty cool actually and a different perspective on Stonehenge so I'm going to go and check it out Man, I love the roads at this time of the morning Okay, so slight update on the uh, flight situation. It's so misty that it might actually get delayed a little bit, so they've been promised of bacon butties and coffee though, so I'm I'm still hopeful, still very hopeful. Okay, so it's time to get some kit ready. Um, I'm gonna take everything on this because I don't know what's gonna be going on. So I have two 5D Mark Threes, 7D with like a fish eye on it, 1635, 24105, 7200, and I think that's what I can probably take with me. It's now time for the most important part of any job. It's tea and coffee time. Um, it's sun's coming up slowly, I think. Not that you can really see here, but uh, it's still pretty foggy, so I don't know how uh, how long this is going to be delayed for. So fingers crossed, not too long. But we might be able to get a nice bit of a sunrise uh, if it does lift. Okay. I'm the ballast now. Yeah, I know, mate. Okay, you want to jump in? Yeah, sure. That's what I did. Oh, yeah, cheers, thank you. <laughs> In order to take people up and down, the winds have to be cer a certain sort of right. degree of light. If we, if we, if we were doing this purely for branding, and we didn't have guests in it, then we could do that in a lot rockier conditions right. for the people on the road, which is then you stop people traffic. Okay, so balloon flight done. Now I'm just running around to do a shot through the stones. Should look pretty cool. Go and join the other photographers around here. Pretty sure that's all the shots done. So time to go and file. Not saying it's dramatic.